Okay. What is the formula for hydrosulfuric acid? So, formula for hydrosulfuric acid. So I like how actually everything connects because when I said HCl, right? Like hydrochloric acid, I said exactly hydrochloric acid. I said that this is hydrochloric acid. So using that same logic, okay, if we have hydrosulfuric acid, we know now we have a sulfur, okay? Just a sulfur. This isn't um it's like this isn't sulfuric acid, okay? Or um, what am I trying to think of? Phosphate forms into phosphoric acid. Exactly, no, we're on the right track. And exactly, when we scroll back to earlier questions, when we're talking about um, nitric acid, for example, it's not the same thing as hydronitronous acid, which I don't really ever see. Hydro Point being is that to get back on track is just sulfur by itself. Hydrosulfuric acid, it's sulfur by itself. Now we need to figure out actually, um, and also hydro, okay, we know that it has a hydrogen, okay? But what we do not know here actually is specifically, uh, sorry, I'm not keep messing my charger. We don't know how many hydrogens or how many sulfurs we need. We know hydrogen has only one um, electron giveaway because, uh, you know, it's 1s1 as hydrogen when we write an electron configuration. For sulfur, okay, it's you just start a neon, okay, and it's 2, don't I keep putting 2, 3s2, okay, 3p4. And these two numbers, two and four, let us know that this valence shell is six electrons. Now I can say without a doubt, um, for most things even in nature, it's easier to add when there's a less step than to subtract when there's a bigger step. Meaning that you wanna follow the octet rule, so you either wanna have eight or nothing. Sulfur only needs two more to get to eight. So it really just likes to take two electrons. So with that being said, sulfur is typically two minus, okay? And hydrogen is one plus, as we discussed with the 1s1, okay? So with that being said, to balance it out, we need to multiply hydrogen by two. So hydrosulfuric acid will end up being H2S. This is hydrosulfuric acid, but I did use a hydrochloric example to answer that, but what if we were given another name as the question also asks? Dihydrogen sulfide, which is technically the name they have to give because of the fact that when you notice on the periodic table, hydrogen is a non-metal and sulfur is also a non-metal. So based on the naming rules, two nonmetals, you need that indicator, the dye in front of it, okay? You know for a fact it is not a ionic compound. So with that being said, we just follow what it says here. Dihydrogen, dye means two, and sulfide is just sulfur, just one of them. So we get the same answer here as these two Okay, it's just that it depends on what you know in your background. Exactly. They were quite gracious to give us the dihydrogen sulfide because if they hadn't uh, give us that clue, you kind of had to infer how hydrosulfuric acid worked based on hydrochloric acid and hydrofluoric acid as well, like HF, because that's really for me actually the only way I would have figured out that hydrosulfuric had no like oxygens with it. Like it wasn't a uh, sulfuric acid. Okay. So like they talk about what dye means. In this case, you know, it means two. <laughs> and exactly. Um, 
and they mentioned how exactly if it ends in ide ide when you're naming it that's just uh that's just how it ends but exactly this means that you're dealing with only the elements you're not dealing with like a more complicated um compound okay and then exactly and they mentioned that using the guide above they kind of reverse engineered it and got h2s so this is correct okay and now let's move on to question 17.